There are several hidden mechanics in the game along with some mechanics that are not explained very well. Let's start by talking about the first hidden mechanic, Elemental Vulnerabilities. As you can see in this chart, certain enemies are more vulnerable to certain damage types than others. So, for example, Joseph is a human boss, so he will take more damage from Kinetic and Thermal than others since he's weak to them. But Frost still does more damage than Chaos and Electric. This will be very relevant for endgame activities when you're optimizing the best team for certain endgame stages. The second hidden mechanic is that alignment index does not actually scale in the intervals of 100 as stated in the Davis alignment descriptions. It's actually a linear scaling based on how much alignment index that you have. If you don't know what alignment index is, I have a video on it linked in the description. But this finding basically means that it might be optimal for some characters to build alignment index as substats on their logistics for certain builds. This still needs more testing to know which characters it's worth building this special stat on. The third hidden mechanic is that armored parts of enemies don't have more defense and defense does not scale with level, type, shield or parts of an enemy. The difference in damage values actually comes from the fact that every enemy and part has separate damage resistances. The fourth hidden mechanic is that all hits on weak spots are always crits. This means that crit rate is useless to build on sniper characters since you're almost always trying to hit weak spots with them. It would be better to build attack and crit damage instead. Also. The crit amplifier substat is a multiplier for your crit damage. 10% of crit amplifier stat will give you 10% more crit damage. So 50% crit damage will become 55%. The fifth hidden mechanic is that S energy for your standard skills recovers at 1 S energy per second at base rate. But if you have increased S energy regen from logistic substats, it seems to affect the regen rate non-linearly. It needs more testing to find out the exact formula, but for now, it seems like this stat is pretty good for characters that rely on standard skills. The sixth hidden mechanic is that the amount of U energy you gain whenever you hit the enemy differs on the type of weapon used. You can see it on the U energy bar. This means that it might be optimal to use a weapon that generates the most U energy for a team built around spamming ultimate skills. Also. Auxiliary units don't grab U energy. The last hidden mechanic is that kinetic active skills do double damage to shields, but just to be clear, it's only the active skills that do double damage compared to other damage types. All weapons do double damage to shields because they do ballistic damage and the game actually tells you that. And that's all the mechanics I wanted to talk about. I figured out some of these mechanics from my own testing and others I learned from this spreadsheet created by the community in a Discord thread called the Yagdrasa Research Department. I was going to share my findings, but these guys were way ahead of me and I had already confirmed them with a lot of data. If you want to contribute to the research cause or say thanks to them, I've linked both the spreadsheet and the Discord thread links in the description. Special thanks to everyone from this thread who contributed their data and findings. You guys are doing great work. That's all for this video. Hope you all have a nice day.